So today, I actually already made one and I'm gonna show you guys how I make this. Welcome back to Lime and Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. Welcome to my little motherhood channel. Occasionally, I like to try some crafts and I'm actually in the middle of a little series on my channel where I try things that I've seen on TikTok. So today, I actually already made one and I'm gonna show you guys how I make this. I found, or I on TikTok, I saw this cute little company like make these little rainbows. And I figured like, that's something I can do. And I used Dollar Tree products. So let me show you what you need. So to make that, you need one thing of nautical rope from the Dollar Tree. I actually had some left over from this little craft that I already made. And this will probably serve to make like half of the rainbow. So if you wanna make more than one, if you have like two packs of nautical rope, you might be able to squeeze out three rainbows. And then I just picked up this yarn from the Dollar Tree, as you guys saw in that previous haul video. I really like the colors, how they go together. Personally, I like cooler colors, but I think the warmth of these colors work well together. And that's all the necessary <laughs> items that you guys need. But I had some of these little wooden beads lying around and I had this leftover acrylic paint in the color egg from Target. And I thought that I would just go ahead and paint these guys just to kind of give it a matching color to the nautical rope. I don't know, I don't know where I got these beads. I think they might've been like a hand-me-down or a gift, but I know that Michael's sells beads like this. You might be able to find some similar ones at the Dollar Tree but it's not necessary. So don't feel like you need to get like a full big pack of these beads. I just kind of liked how it looked like this and it kind of, you know, matched what I saw on TikTok. So the first thing I am going to do is paint these beads because I want them to be dry. And my little technique of painting them since they have like a small little hole was to take a Q-tip, put the bead on it, and then I could hold it like this as I paint it. So that's just kind of my little technique that works for me. Okay, so now that those have been painted, the next step is to just kind of get a feel for how big you want this to be. Obviously, I could have made this a lot bigger, maybe a little bit smaller. I could also unravel one of the nautical ropes and make like a little mini version, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna you know lay out my ropes and try to make it about the same size, which I will kind of measure as best as I can with like a measuring tape to really get a good idea of how long this is. And I will put those measurements on the screen as I'm talking here. But know that if you make this for yourself, it doesn't have to be perfect. All you have to do is lay out your little rainbow on your table and just kind of go from there and kind of trim away. It's better to have a little bit longer pieces because once we finish this off, we are gonna be trimming it. So the longer, the better. That way you have stuff to work with. If you make it too short, then you may not have much frill anyways. So just kind of keep that in mind. But like I said, I'm gonna be using up what was left over from that little rainbow. And then I have this leftover decorative nautical rope and I actually unraveled one of the three strands for this one. So this one's actually a little bit thinner in diameter, I guess, than this rope. So I'm just gonna alternate. That way it's like slightly larger, slightly smaller, slightly larger, slightly smaller uh, as I go through my little rainbow here. So I'm gonna trim these up and then I'll show you guys the next step. All right, my four strands have been cut and I'm just gonna use the same color scheme like order as this one. That way, if two people in my family like this and want it, they don't have to fight over, you know, which one they like better. They're just gonna look the same. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my yarn and I'm gonna leave probably about three inches-ish uh, from the ends and just tie a simple knot and take that the shorter end of the string that's not connected to the rest of it and wrap that under uh, using you know the rest of the string until I've reached three more inches on this other side. If that didn't make sense, just watch this next little clip and hopefully that will make more sense now. So this is what it looks like when you're done wrapping. 
I want to kind of keep it in the rainbow type shape. I just tied a little double knot at the end and when I'm all done kind of piecing this together, I'm just going to trim this off. I'll give you guys an update video if there's a problem, if I need to like, I don't know, secure it some other way, but I don't think that there will really be an issue with this. So let me go ahead and wrap these other ones and then I'll show you how I attached all the pieces together. So now that these guys are done, pretty much what I'm gonna do is take the smallest one and put hot glue around like the circumference of this semicircle and then attach the next layer and continue to do that until I attach the top one. Now, before I attach the top one, I am going to tie on a little string because that is gonna be what hangs up here. Uh, and I'm just gonna put the beads on like over the string at the end. So that comes later. But uh, like I said, before I hot glue this one, let's go ahead and tie this little loop. I'm not gonna tie it so that the ends um, of the yarn are at the top. I'm just gonna tie like a double knot here. Okay, so that double knot is done. Now where the ends are of this string, I'm actually gonna try to keep that on this underside of the U so that when I glue these pieces together, these ends will be hidden and I'll just have a nice clean loop at the top. So that's not really necessary, just if you don't want the ends to be showing, just keep that in mind. You can also trim them so that they're not like super frayed and maybe stick out after you glue it. But let's glue this and then comes the last step. Okay, now that that is glued, we are going to brush out the ends of these little nautical rope strands and give them a good trim. And while we're here, let's put on these beads. So we have this little loop here. I don't know if you guys can see, there you go. We have the little loop and we're just gonna feed like the entire loop through the holes of the beads until we have all three on there. And then what I did on the other one was I just took a piece of blue yarn and tied a little bow at the top, just so that the beads like won't easily come off um, if it falls off the wall or wherever it's hanging. And it also adds a little bit more decoration and throws in another color at the top. So that's not necessary, but it's definitely an option. Now I have two different sized beads here. I have two small and one large. On the other one, I have two large and one small, and I just kind of alternated sandwiching the oddball out in the middle. And I obviously could have done the same bead size throughout the entire thing, but I thought that it gave it more dimension to try two different sizes. Okay, so these beads are on, and I don't think I cut this string long enough. Uh, I was afraid that the loop would be too big, and it turns out I made it just slightly too small. But it's big enough for me to tie this blue piece of yarn on and tie a little bow and still have some type of loop and way to hang this in the future. All right, the bow is tied. Let's go ahead and fray these and then we're all done. it. I'd like to thank you guys for joining me as I give this little TikTok idea a try. I really like how they turned out and I will have like a voiceover tutorial on my crafting channel. If you guys didn't already know, I have a crafting channel, Lima Bean Crafting, where I do all of my short and sweet tutorials over there. But um, because I saw this on TikTok, I also wanted to share it with this channel. So there you go. Uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you plan on doing this yourself. And subscribe if you guys are new. I would love to have you stick around and check out all of my motherhood content. And I will catch you guys in the next one. If you didn't know already, my name is Emily from Lima Bean Living. 
welcome. We are so happy to have you. We post videos every Monday and Friday on a variety of content, lifestyle, cooking, cleaning, military life, DIYs, encouraging mathematical development in children, and so much more. Thank you so much again for watching and until next time.